Good evening, everybody. How you all doing? It's such a honor and a privilege to be in the presence of God together uh, one more time. Welcome each and every one of you to the locker room where foundational teaching takes place. Uh, if you would, just go with us as we go to God uh, in a word of prayer. How many of you all know that prayer still works? If you know that prayer still works, just, just give us a thumb up or a heart or just type across the screen. I'm a witness. Amen. That prayer still works. God, we just thank you for another day. We thank you for another opportunity. Uh, we thank you for keeping us and covering us, clothing us in our right minds. God, we thank you for uh, making the enemy stay back. God, we thank you for wisdom in all circumstances and in situations, God, because if the enemy could have had his way, 
none of us would be here right yes, now. Lord. Uh, we would have thrown in the towel. We would have given up. We would have committed suicide. Whatever may be the case. Thank you. But God, you kept us. And we want to say thank you. Thank you. On tonight, God, we rebuke the hand of the enemy. Yes. Who come but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Yes. Say to the Lord, rebuke you. You have no power. You have no authority. We rebuke darkness and we yes. speak light. In the, name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. We are a light in the midst of darkness. And we oh, thank yeah. God for thank everything God. that anointed praise and worship ministries represent. We thank, thank God you. for giving birth to this church. We thank God for the members and the family of this church, the friends, the guests. We thank God for each and every one of those who are a part of what God is doing in this time. Lord, we ask right now that you send an anointing that makes teaching easy, that you send an anointing that makes learning easy. Thank you, in God. the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and thanks we give. Thank God. Thank God. And amen. 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 Uh, Dr. Clay, we can do the announcements now or in the end? Now Ready? Is good. Now? Well, is your class. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, you all, we got uh, some quick announcements we want to share with you all. Uh, some things that are pressing upon us that are uh, right around the corner. As a matter of fact, and one of those main things are uh, Relationship Realities Virtual Conference 2020, uh, which is actually next weekend, uh, October the 9th and October the 10th, which is next Friday and Saturday. Yes. Listen, if you have not registered, please do so, amen. After class, please do so. Make sure uh, that you take the time out to register. Registration is only $10. Praise God, it's gonna cover the work. Pre it ain't even cover the work, but we just wanna, amen, be a blessing to the people who are a part of it. Amen, you all will receive a, a registration packet concerning the various topics that are gonna be taught on that day. Uh, relationships, marriage, family, and communication. Yeah. And I just want to just drop this in right now. A lot of relationships don't work or are not working, mm -hmm. praise God, because we feel like uh, it's a relationship or healthy relationships are based on feelings. Feelings. It's not based on feelings. And it's not. And if we harbor on how I feel in the relationship, then we won't keep a relationship mm -hmm. uh, very long. Any we're not, type. We're any type. We're not talking. This is not a marriage conference. This is not a singles conference. This conference is for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so if we harbor on how I feel about an individual, listen, it will not last. As a matter of fact, if we want to go to church, I don't feel like praising God all the time. Sometimes oh, you I'm, tired. In class today. I'm tired in my body, praise mm -hmm. God. Sometimes it's been a long day and I would rather recline in front of my television with my feet up and my head laid back, praise God, and relax. But it's not based upon a feeling. It's based upon respon oh, you response. Oh, you based, in the house. It's based on responsibility. It's based on I'm accountable unto God. It's based on praise God. I appreciate God. It's based on I love God. Regardless how I feel, I still love Him. If it's raining outside, I still love Him. If the sun is shining, I still oh, love God. Him. If it's if it's a, if it's a, a winter storm, I still love Him. Woo, uh, the, the, the outside in, uh, influences or the outside elements that are going on in the world does not dictate whether or not I will give God the love that he deserves. So goes with relationship. Uh -huh. We cannot allow our feelings to dictate if I love you or not. Mm -hmm. Praise God, because some days you may wake up on the wrong side of bed and you just mad anyway. Uh -huh. Praise God, and you will take it out on that person because you don't feel like yes. loving the way you kissed me the last six months uh -huh. when I wake up in the morning. What's different today? Now my breath stink, but listen, it was stinking six months ago. Oh, wow. But because you were feeling lovely, come on somebody, it didn't matter. And so listen, be a part of this conference uh, Friday, October the 9th. It's going to be praise and worship. It's going to be praying. It's going to be preaching. Listen, we are ex so, so excited. Amen. I believe we're going to have a special musical guest that's going to be joining with us mm -hmm. on that Friday night on Facebook Live. And then Saturday morning, you must be registered, amen, to be in Zoom with us, amen, if we're going to deal with these various topics. You have your outline in your hands so you can ask questions. You can take notes. Praise God. It is going to be so very exciting. Listen, that's the only announcement I'm going to give tonight. Okay. That's the you only announcement. That's the only announcement I'm going to give tonight. And so, Dr. Clay, we want to get out of here uh, concerning the announcements and let you do what you do as our teacher. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. God bless you. Uh, Apostle Clay is definitely already in the house on tonight. 
Good evening to you. He's already in. When are we to praise God? We're right there. He right. already started class. You already opened it. You already gave us our introduction. Wow, okay. For tonight, everything that you were saying in the relationship realities uh -huh. uh, announcement was already opening us up for when are we to praise God. Hopefully, you have opened your emails on yesterday and gotten your uh, lesson for tonight. Uh, if you need to get on that listing, text 870-727-0061. And give us your name and email address. Let us know to add you to the lesson list because you're faithfully attending and we want you to be able to follow along. Yes, yes. When are we to praise God? This is part one. We're still in the principles of praise and worship series. How long have we been on this? Um, how long have we been on this? <laughs> Come uh, on, been, class. How long have we been teaching this? We've been on praise and worship. I'm going to say... The principles of praise and worship. We've been in this this series. Uh -huh. I'm just I'm gonna safely say four months. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it has been right. Uh, and, and I was uh talking to Apostle last night, and I was like, Apostle, this series is looking like we're just gonna praise our way right on through the pandemic. Yeah, praise yeah, the Lord. Yes, we're yes, gonna yes. praise and worship our way right through this thing. That, that's powerful. And, and, and isn't it amazing how God is doing? We're going to praise and worship our way through a, a global pandemic praise and of worship. all the things yeah. uh -huh. that we could have been teaching. Uh -huh. Praise our way through problems. Praise our way through problems. Praise our way through economics. Praise our way through the elections. Praise our way through the vaccine. Praise our way through hard times. Praise our way through, and I thank God for praise it. our way through the pain, through the pain, the oh struggle. My God. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. it's awesome, and I give God all the honor. Can we just praise God? Can we just lift our hands, give Him a yada on this evening? Yes, yada, Lord. yes, Lord. extend another hand, saying, "Pick me up, God. I'm all yours. Pick me up, Daddy. Yes, I'm Lord. all." Yours. Yes, thank Lord. you, God. Thank, thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Glad to see my family members coming in. Praise God for you all. Yes. When are we to praise God? Mm -hmm. uh, the principles of praise and worship series. Our introduction tonight. God is worthy of our praise all day. Every day, yes. no matter what kind of day it is. You yep. were already in there. Yes. No matter what kind of day it is, we are, he's worthy mm -hmm. of our praise all day, every, every day. day. Somebody say, all day, every day. You got to say, you got, listen, y'all, we know this person. We, doc, this is Dr. Clay, so she knows how to say every. Oh, I do. But this guy used to say, he say, er thing. Er day. And er day. So, y'all, it's the inside, you know. Hey, God yeah. is worthy of our praise all day, every day. Praise every you, God. Day, er no, day. <laughs> no matter what kind of day it is. Yeah. I don't know what kind of day you had, but mine was pretty long. But guess what? God is still worthy yes. of praise. He's worthy of glory. He's yes. worthy of honor. Uh, two, there are two times to praise God. Okay. Two times, somebody, mm -hmm. to praise God. Wow. Two times? Two times. Dr. Clay, now we praise God all the time. You got you have to break this down <laughs> to me. I love it. There are two times to okay. praise God. The first one is when we feel like it, and the second one is when we don't oh feel God. like it. Oh my God. Oh when we feel like it, we praise Ooh, him. When man. we don't feel like it, we praise him. When we're going through God. Yes. So it's two times to praise God when we feel like it and when we don't. Apostle already told us it's not based on feelings. No. It's not based on emotions. Mm -hmm. It's based on who God is and the goodness of the Lord. If we go out for emotions, you all, <laughs> we wouldn't keep a job. Oh, God. If we went out for emotions, we wouldn't pay our bills. <laughs> oh, my God. If we just went out for emotions, a lot of stuff wouldn't work. But we have to push past the emotion because how I feel that may not be what's going on. So I got to keep my <laughs> eyes focused on the assignment. But look, my view could be distorted. 
Yes. And so I can't go off just how I'm feeling. I have to go off what the word says. Yes. And what does the word say? And let's go to Psalm 34 and 1 and let's just see what the word says. Come on. Because we're not making this up. Mm -hmm. Psalm 34 and 1 class. This is our virtual classroom. Yes. And I am your teacher, Dr. Clay, and I nice am to excited you, Clay. Let me... to have you all in my classroom on this evening, and we're going to learn when are we to praise God. Just, we want to know exactly, because I think some of us have been doing this thing all wrong. Wow. I think we've wow. been doing it all wrong. So wow. we're going to learn how to do it effectively. Wow. Can I, as, as they go going, ahead, as you are going in your Bible to Psalm 34 and 1, that is so uh, mind blowing because I heard uh, a bishop talk about this several years ago that uh, growing up, his mom cooked spaghetti. That was his favorite meal. <laughs> yeah. But she always used ketchup. <laughs> and so when he got older, amen, and God had blessed him financially and he and his wife went out to a fancy restaurant, and he ordered spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And when they brought his spaghetti, he was like, oh, this is nasty. This don't this taste, right. taste right. What is in this? And so as they began to explain what was in it, he said, hold up, y'all did it wrong. You're supposed to use ketchup. They were like, no, sir, your mom was doing it wrong. This is what you're supposed to do. This is Italian food. So the point is, the, <laughs> point, the point is, catch this, Dr. Clay, we can be raised doing something wrong all of our lives. Preach, man. Preach. And then when God upgrade us and open doors for us, we find out, hold on, what I, that was totally wrong. I've so been we, all off. So we, got two, so we got two things we can do right there. We can like it or don't like it. Oh, my God. And you said we praise when we feel like it when we don't. We have two choices. We, we can either praise or not. Praise or not, accept it or not, receive it or not. Receive it or not. Because we praise when we feel like it and when we don't. So it's not about how I personally feel. Because you will have a fourth of a church praise and then the other three fourths sitting with arms folded looking salty about the face. Wow. God doesn't care what happened in our day as far as that's concerned. He said we are to praise because the praise changes us, not him. Mm -hmm. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. The praise changes us, not God. Mm -hmm. It changes our atmosphere. It, it helps us lose our saltiness. Wow. Our sourness. Wow. Our lemon about the lips. Yes, ma'am. Psalm 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord in all times. That's it. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Keep going. I my soul it. shall make her boast in the Lord. Mm -hmm. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the mm -hmm. Lord with me. me and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> And he heard me Woo, and delivered me from all my over. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I sought the Lord. Girl, you better get this out of my hand. Uh, hey, go ahead. And he heard me and Woo, delivered me Jesus. from all my fear. Why am I walking in fear when all wow. I got to do is seek God? All I got to seek him. Praise him to get in his presence and then Ooh. hear from him. Ooh. That's all I got to do. Yes, Praise him and he'll show up. Now, when we talked about this class, praise him and he'll show up. Yes, yes. Why are we pulling our hair out trying to figure it out when wow. God's already worked it out? Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. I said two times to praise him when we feel like it and when we don't. Mm -hmm. So I will bless him at all times. That means there is no particular time to praise him. Either I feel like it or I don't. I'm still praising. Yes, 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 yes. I'm still pra I'm blessing him at all times. I'm blessing him when the dog ran off. I'm blessing him when the fish's water evaporated. I'm blessing him yeah. when everybody's acting crazy at the house and on the job. I'm blessing him when I'm confused. I'm blessing him when I'm hard-headed. I'm blessing him at all times.
mind and his praises are continually in my mouth. Yes. So I'm blessing him and I'm speaking well of him. I'm blessing him. I'm celebrating him. I'm praising him. Yes, I'm worshiping yes, him. Yes, yes. I first have to praise him before we can go into the worship. That's why we are really not entered in to our real teaching on worship. Uh -huh, because uh -huh. we have to learn what praise is because everybody can praise. Everybody is obligated to praise. Mm -hmm. We praise him mm -hmm. at all times. Wow. And his praises are going to continually in our mouth. So we should always be speaking well of God, no matter what's going on in our life, no matter the situation, we're speaking well of God. Yeah, if the situation looks a little funny right now, but God, but God. my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. It's, it, there should always be a praise in there, something to speak well of God about in our current situation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So Psalm 31, 34 and 1 took us there. So praise is to be an everyday part of our lives. Okay. Praise is to be an everyday. Mm -hmm. This is not a Sunday or a Saturday thing that we just come up with. We don't turn the church music on on the weekend mm -hmm. uh, to give them praise. This is an everyday Occurrence. This is an everyday relationship. Yes, yes, yes. That we have with God. Praise is to be an everyday part of our lives. Yes. No matter what's happening, our focus is to remain on God. Wow. No, Lord, help just, my focus. Lord, help my focus. Let's declare it in the atmosphere. Lord, help Lord, my focus. Help my focus. If you declare it and decree that over your life, can you just type that on the screen right fast? <laughs> Lord, help my focus. Focus. Sister Cheryl Wilson said, I love the locker room. I do too. I, I do, do too. too. Amen. All right, uh, uh, class. Praise is to be an everyday part of our lives. No matter what's happening, our focus mm -hmm. is to remain on God. So let's talk about our topic for tonight. That was our introduction. So our, our first part of our uh, when are we to praise God? We're going to talk about talk about in the best of times. Okay. We're going to talk about those happy times on tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, King David dreamed of building a permanent house for the Lord to replace those mobile tabernacles. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that housed the Ark of the Covenant since the days of Moses. We have referred to this back in our earlier uh, lessons. Yes. The prophet Nathan even put his stamp on, of approval on David's plans. And the word of the Lord came to Nathan at night. So let's go to 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verses 4 through 14. And we're going to find out about these best of times. This is one of the most anointed and praise having, uh, praise party having men in history. In the history of the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. King David. He had a dream to build a permanent house because the Ark of the Covenant was carried yes. from place to place. That tabernacle that held it, it was carried from place to place, but he wanted a permanent place where their Ark of the Covenant could remain. Wow. Where God, the Ark of the Covenant was God's presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's presence. He wanted that to be in a permanent spot so that the people could come and could just experience that grand presence of God right there in one place. Uh -huh. Kind of sounds like anointed praise and worship ministries. You always talk about tens of thousands of souls in one place giving God praise. Yes, yes. Giving yes. them glory. Can we just imagine the glory of God coming amongst us? That's what's going to happen at the revival next month in November. Wow. That the glory of God dwelling amongst us, right in our midst. I'm excited about I'm that. I'm excited too. too. Because you just with the spill and the beans leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all better get ready. Oh, Lord have mercy. In the best of times. First Chronicles, not Corinthians. First Chronicles, Old Testament. Yes. Uh, chapter 17, verses 4 through 14. Thank you, administrators, uh, for assisting us on tonight. Good evening, Pastor Phillips. Good evening, Sister Shelton. We see you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Phillips in the building. Pastor Phillips, you have to meet us. Amen. You got to get with me. You got to meet us. Yeah, give us a call, Pastor. 870 727 0061. 
Amen. First Corinthians chapter 17. Whenever mm -hmm. you want me to read. First Chronicles. Right. First Chronicles. See? Chapter 17, verses 4 through 14. Mm -hmm. Go and tell David, my servant, thus saith the Lord, thou shalt not build me an house to dwell in. For I have not dwelt in an house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day, but have gone from tent to tent and from one tabernacle to another. Wheresoever I have walked with all Israel, spake I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me an house of cedars? Now, therefore, verse seven, now, therefore, thus shalt thou say unto my servant, David, mm -hmm. thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, even from following the sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler over my people, Israel. And I have been with thee whithersoever thou hast walked and have cut off all thine enemies from before thee and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel and will plant them. Oh my God. Them. He will plant them mm -hmm. and will and they shall dwell in their place and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. Wow. Verse 10. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover, I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore, I will I furthermore I tell thee that the Lord will build thee in house. Verse 11. And it shall come to pass when they when thy days be expired, that thou must go to be with thy fathers that I will raise up thy seed after thee, wow. which shall be of thy sons, and I will establish his kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 12. Come on, y'all. Verse 12. And he shall build me in house, and I will establish his throne forever. Verse mm -hmm. 13. I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and I will not take my mercy away from him as I took it from him that was before thee. But I will settle him in my house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forever. That was good. Uh, it's a few points that I want to make in here. Mm -hmm. uh, the point, but one word just stuck out to me just then as you were reading. The word plant. Oh yeah, I love what that. What does the word plant mean? I went there, but I want y'all what. Y'all give me some definitions of the word plant. What does it mean to plant? I want the verb. I don't want the noun. I want the the verb definition of the word plant or to plant. What does that mean to plant? Mm -hmm. Come on, class. What does it mean to plant? That really blessed me. Here we're talking about King David once again. Uh -huh. His dream of building a permanent house for the Lord to mm -hmm. replace that mobile tabernacle holding, hosting the Ark of the Covenant. Right. The prophet Nathan even came and put his stamp of approval on David's plans. And the word of the Lord came to the prophet that night. That night. Uh, David had a praise session even afterwards because God confirmed everything that he was feeling in his spirit. Uh -huh. But that word plant stuck out to me right as you were reading. First Chronicles chapter 17 uh, verse 9 which he's talking about it says also I will ordain a place for my people Israel and will plant them. Mm. He's going to plant these people and they shall dwell in their place and shall be moved no more. Can somebody shout no more? No more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. Wow. Okay, listen to this passage in the message translation. As y'all give me my definitions. 
Y'all listen to this. This is the is this is God's word on the matter. You will not build me a house to live in. Why I haven't lived in a house from the time I brought up the children of Egypt till now. Mm -hmm. I've gone from one tent and makeshift shelter to another. In all my travels with all Israel, did I ever say to any of the leaders I commanded to shepherd Israel, why haven't you built me a house of cedar? Mm -hmm. So here is what you are to tell my servant David. The God of the angel's armies has this word for you. Mm -hmm. I took you from the pasture, tagging after sheep, and made you prince over my people, Israel. I was with you everywhere you went mm -hmm. and mowed your enemies down before you. Mm -hmm. And now I'm about to make you famous, rank with great names on earth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set aside a place for my people, Israel. This is the, the, the prophet telling him what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. And plant them there. He says, set aside a place for my people Israel. And plant them there. Mm -hmm. So they'll have their own home. And not be knocked around anymore. Right. Nor will evil nations afflict them as they always have. Even during the days I set judges over my people Israel. And finally, I'm going to conquer all your enemies. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And now I'm telling you this, God himself yes. will build you a house. When your life is complete and you're buried with your ancestors, then, then I'll raise up your child to succeed you or to follow you, a child from your own body, and I'll firmly establish his rule. He will build a house to honor me. And I will guarantee his kingdom's rule forever. I'll be a father to him and he'll be a son to me. Mm -hmm. I will never remove my gracious love from him as I did from the one who preceded you. I will set him over my house and my kingdom forever. His throne will always be there. Rock solid. Amen. So even as we go there. The Lord said, I will plant. See, God was speaking. David had a, a vision. He had a, a mission in his heart. He didn't want the Ark of the Covenant to keep traveling. He had a real desire, a love for God so much that he wanted to build God a house. But God sent the prophet to let him know. He said, I know you. I knew you before the foundation of the world. I took you out of the field tending sheep. To have you to come in to work in my field in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But David's love to build God a house made God turn around and give him a promise that I'm building you a house. And your house is going to stand for generations to come. It's going to stand forever. Your house is going to be full of leaders. Your house is going to be full of blessed nations. Your house, your children, your, your son is going to build that house that you have in your vision. But before that, I'm going to do something to bless you. And it's going to be on your family's name forever. Amen. But back up, Dr. Clay, because you asked. The, I asked for the word plant. And they, it's a whole lot of definitions. Okay, let's hear it. Because you gave a lot. And so I'm just sitting over here making my mouth be quiet. You don't the, have to. Um. Because you gave a lot. Uh, Brother Adam says, sow a seed that builds a permanent foundation. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Lady J says, uh, send to join. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, sow seed that will cultivate into a permanent place. Fix, uh, Sister Wilson said, fix in a specific place. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miss Tucker said, to plant a good foundation for your home in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, this word, this word plant we're dealing with, uh, do you have a definition? I have a definition. Uh, I have a definition to place or fix in a specified position mm -hmm. or to place something so it can grow. Amen. And so you all gave great definitions. Mm -hmm. And so what God is saying, I, I'm not going to even paraphrase this, y'all. I'm not going to even paraphrase this. Verse 9, 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 9. Mm -hmm. All, or uh, the King James Version. Also, I will ordain a place for my people Israel. Listen, you all. God has a specific place for you, for me, for mm -hmm. us to be. Mm -hmm. That he has ordained. 
is in some of environments, praise God, we can't thrive like we're supposed to be because the environment that we are in is not conducive wow. for growth and development. Uh, for an example, uh, certain seeds have to be in certain soil. That's right. In order That's for right. it to grow and to flourish That's right. and to become all that it's supposed to be. And so, with that being said, we have to be in the right environment. We have to be planted in the right place. It has to be ordained by God for us, mm -hmm. you know, because this church may be doing this. We're like, oh, they, they look like fun. And right. we go there, but <laughs> God didn't ordain us to be there. He ordained <laughs> us to be there. Yeah. So this one may have 500,000 members. Yeah. This one may have five members. Yeah. We want to go where everybody's going, but God said, I didn't send you to the 500,000 yeah. members. Yeah. I sent you to the church with the five members. Yeah. I have ordained you to be there because when you go there, praise God, where I have ordained you, then you will grow and develop. Your marriage will grow and develop. Your children will grow and develop. Your Amen. business will grow and develop. Amen. Your grandchildren will grow and develop. You will have joy. You will have peace. You will have love. Amen. Amen. You will have stability. You see, you'll get receive deliverance. So we have to be mindful. Praise God. That's why I always tell people to pray. You know, you looking for a church home? Here we are. As a matter of fact, while I'm talking about it, I'm going to show you. Yeah. I'm going to show you what I mean. If you're looking for a church home, praise God, look no Further, can somebody say, Look no further? Look no further. If you're looking for a church home, look no further because listen, welcome home, amen. This is we're serious about the ministry of God. But as we talk to the people who say, Listen, I want to be a part of this ministry, we like awesome. Let, let, let's pray, amen. We're going to seek God and we're going to begin this journey together. Why? Because He has to ordain you to be a part of the body. Text this, catch this. He said, Also, I will ordain a place for my people, Israel. And will plant them. And so what he is saying is when he when he assigns you or ordains you us to a congregation, he's going to plant us there. He's not, he not, he not putting us there just to dangle around. Oh wow. To sit on the shelf, praise God, to look cute, to look handsome, oh, to look no. pretty. He said, No, I'm going to plant you. I'm literally going to put you in the soil of this so church. So you can grow. So you can grow. I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm going to literally put you in the soul, the soil of this ministry so you can re receive <laughs> the nourishment, oh my God, that I have ordained for this church. So a lot of time, pray God, people will be around the church but not necessarily in the church yeah, or planning in, in the church or mm -hmm. in, in God. That's it. In God. But listen, he said this. Uh, and we'll plant them and they shall dwell in their place. Yes, they, the well, they will reside. They will make a residence there. They will begin to build where they are, yes, and shall be moved no more. He said, listen, I'm going to plant you and you will be moved no more. Your roots are going to grow deep in the soil. Your roots are going to grow deep in the word. Yes. Your roots are going to grow deep in the anointing, yes, deep in the teaching. Deep into the assignment on your life, and you will be not you will not be moved no more. Listen, y'all. There are certain when certain storms come, amen. You can have big trees, but when it's the wind storms come or the tornadoes come, when we go outside, those trees were knocked over, yes. big as they were. Big as but they were. you have what's those trees in Hawaii? Palm, palm trees. Palm trees. Palm, I love them. Palm trees. They have some little skinny sticks. Little old skinny sticks compared to some of these big trees. Amen. But listen, when the storm come, they just sway to one side, mm -hmm. sway to the other side, all the way back, whatever be the case. But when the storm stop blowing, guess what they do? They stand straight back up because of their roots <laughs> or deeply roots. planted mm -hmm. in the soil. And so what God is saying, listen, my people, I need you all to get this. I need you to be planted and get your roots in the soil. So deep when somebody roots. deep roots, so when somebody make you mad, you still there. Amen. When somebody step on your toes, you still there. When they don't sing the song you like, you still are y'all hearing what yes. I'm saying? He yeah. said, I will ordain a place for my people, Israel. I will plant them and they said, dwell in their That's place. It right oh my, there. Can, you, can you look at your neighbor and say, stay in your place? Oh my God, they would dwell in their place, not my place, not her place, yeah. not his place. They would dwell in their, their place. place. Stay in your place. Stay in your lane. I cannot God, see the God lane. didn't make us to be Ooh, all over the place. God. He walked, he made us to walk effectively yes. in our gifting, in our calling, what yes. we're called to. Yes. He called us to that. Yes, I, I gotta stay in my lane. I gotta stay in my place. 
Don't get offended. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Yeah. But stay in your place because listen, I'm not a songstress. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So I'm not going. I don't play the organ or the keyboard. So what I, I'm feeling good over here. Praise God. So I make Dr. Clay move because I'm the pastor. Oh, wow. I'm Apostle Clay. I want to get over here. It's going to be a hot mess. A hot mess. Stay, in, Apostle Clay. Stay in your place. Stay in your place, sir. I just need for you to tell yourself that I don't, whoever watching this, call your own name out and say, stay in your place, stay in your place, yeah, place stay, the whistle, so stay in your lane. Stay, stay, stay in your lane. He amen. said, I will plant you there. Praise God. It's for a reason. It's for a purpose. Amen. Stay in your place. Amen. And you will, you will not be moved anymore. And I'm going to cut it off right there. This is good. Yes, man. I, I, this is yes, good. This is good. Uh, so he's called us to mm -hmm. be planted. This was actually uh, uh, a life change yes. for David because he had gone through so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we read this entire story because you had to read the entire passage mm -hmm. to even know what was going on. But God knew David's heart. He knew that David praised him with all that he had. He knew that David loved him, but David had been through a lot. David had done a lot. Yes. He had a lot on his hands. He had blood on his hands. He had things that you know, he had to overcome Yes, yes. in life and in his spirituality, even though he loved God so much. Yeah, yeah, he did. But God sent David a promise that, man, your name is going to be great. Yeah. Your name is going to be Known, I mean famous in the earth. Baby, can you emphasize this? Because I've talked enough. Go ahead. Emphasize this. He said that it was going to be his seed. <laughs> can you emphasize the importance? Oh my God, a seed. What in his seed. His seed, though. The, the thing is, a seed does not just come. God created seeds. He created Every plant, every tree from the beginning, mm -hmm. back in Genesis, mm -hmm. the beginning of the earth. Mm -hmm. He created everything, but do we really understand the importance of a seed? Mm -hmm. Just what happens with it. It's not just for uh, one spring or one season to come. Mm -hmm. It's not going to bless, but this is something that's going to be ongoing, yes. forever blessing. So God said he was going to bless his seed. The seed was going to continue to reproduce. It was going to kind of continue to provide a harvest. Continual season of harvest. Not just one, but continual ongoing. And and, and also, to catch this revelation, yeah. dog, he was talking about his son. His children, yes. his seeds from his loins. Yes. yes. It, it, it was going to continue forever and greater. Yes. It was going to be on, on their, their name. On their name. And that's why we push our children so hard. So and, hard. and open doors and work so hard because we want our children to be Blame. greater. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Greater. Greater than we will ever be. That. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We're pouring into our children now. My son and I was talking earlier. And he was talking about a preparatory school, some stuff he saw. I said, listen, son, whatever, whatever opportunity we can help you go, we are there. We will make the sacrifices. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you are what's most important. Amen. The seed, taking care of the seed. Because yeah, the seed can't take care of itself. The seed can't take care of itself. <laughs> we have to nurture it. Yes. We have to put whatever is needed, the water, the, the light, yes. the care, even though we're looking at it in the physical realm so, so we can understand it as a class, okay? Yeah, yeah. But think about this thing in the spiritual realm. Everything that God has put in us is not just for us. That's it's right. for us to pour it out into generations to come. Yeah. We're supposed to be... Y'all know Dr. Clay, we talk about legacy building. Yes. I'm big on that. I'm big on the stock market. I'm big on saving. I'm big on building business yes. and corporations. We don't just talk about it. We do this. Yes. This is something that we build to set up money for our children, to set up wealth for our children and our children's children, even to the fourth generation. Yes, yes. That's how we do this thing. We set it up so they don't have to work and struggle like we did. Man. So they don't have to go and get the bumps and the bruises like we did. Why should they have to reinvent the wheel when God is blessing us to be a blessing to our seed? Yes, yes. yes. He's putting in us what we need to, to direct our seed. That growth, even that palm tree that he talked about. Yes. Oh, I love palm trees, y'all. Anywhere I can go where it's a palm tree, I'm there. Yes. But he does that 
and he strengthens that palm tree. That's how we're to be, to have deep roots. Do we realize that when we have deep roots, our children learn how to have deep roots? Yes. And then they teach their children to have deep roots. Wow. Yes, and then man. their children's children teach their children to have deep roots. So we pass this uh, strength down. Mm -hmm. It's not something that miraculously or, or some kind of miracle or magic that happens. We train, train and teach. We set foundations. Yes. God gives us the wisdom. He gives us the understanding. He gives us the, the knowledge. So this praise came after the, the prophet had told David what the Lord was saying. He said, you thought you were going to build me a house, but look, I'm setting your house up. Yep, man. Because you faithful trying to take because care of my business. Because you faithful taking care of my business. I'm going to take care I'm of you. I'm taking care of oh you. Oh, my God. I'm taking care of you. Dr. Clay, because you love me so much and you spent your life sowing into your children, you spent the last two decades doing what you needed to do and making the sacrifices for your children. I'm going to let your son go to an Ivy League school and you have to pay a, a small fraction of what somebody else would cost for an $80,000 school. I'm going to do that for you. This is what God is doing. Let's not miss it. Let's not miss the blessing of God in our lives. Man. Let's not miss what God is doing and let year after year after year pass and we're not planting these seeds. We're not sowing into what God is trying to do into our lives. We're letting ourselves get lost. Wow. In the hustle and the bustle. We're letting ourselves get lost in depression and oppression. Yep. We're letting ourselves get lost in what the enemy wants us to think that God has left us. Wow. That he's forsaken us. And the word said, I will never leave you Preach. nor forsake you. Preach. So if God said it, I believe it. I believe if it. God said it, I'm going to get to it. I'm yeah. going to jump on it because I know that God is going to provide all my needs according to his riches and glory. Yes. And guess what I'm going to do? Because we're talking about in the best of times. I'm going to praise him for it. I'm not going to just let him do it and take it for granted and think he owes me something. But I'm going to say, God, I thank you because Lord, you're good. You. God, you. I thank you because I see what you're doing. Yes, God, yes. I thank you because I see your hand in my yes, life. Lord. God, I thank you because I love you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And that's where we are. David had a praise session. Yes, it After did. the word of the Lord came to him because he was just thinking, he was just thinking, I just want to build God a house. I just want to build him a house. Y'all come on, donate with me and help me build God a house. But God said, David, I'm trying to bless you. I'm trying to do something even greater, Great. exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think, oh according to the power that worketh in you. Yes, yes. He said, yes. I'm trying to do greater. Then what you think is stop limiting God's hand. Stop pushing yes. God's hand back. He's trying to bless us beyond yes, our wildest dreams. So David, the praiser, he had a praise session after the word of the Lord came to him. So we're still in 1 Chronicles 17. If we go down to verse 20 through 24, we will see where David was thankful. We will see where David praised the Lord. After he has sent the prophet to say, no, this is what I'm doing. I'm not just going to stop right there. You're not just going to build me a house and, and y'all just going to praise me. I'm going to do something that's going to set you up forever because you have shown yourself faithful to me through the good and the bad, through the, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. You've shown yourself to be faithful to me and I'm setting you up for life. Woo! You are going to be an example yeah. of my goodness for generations to come. I want to be an example. I you know, want to be an example. Of his does goodness. anybody want to be an example? Thank oh my God. God. I want to be an example you, of his goodness and his greatness. Thank Amen. You God. We can't be scared of what God's doing in our lives. It's time to step over the threshold into the blessing. Yes. It's time to step over into favor. It's time to step over into greatness, into the goodness of God. Yes. God is too good for us to hold his hand back. Off of our lives. We need God's hand on our lives. The more he pushes us, the more he anoints us, the more we ought to do. The far more we ought to be on fire, the faster we ought to run. The pressing. Oh, it's a blessing in the pressing. That's the only way the oil come out the olive. When the more pressure they put on that olive, 
the more oil come out. If they do a little pressure, mm -hmm. a little oil. If they do no pressure, no oil. But if they do a whole lot of pressure, a lot of oil, <laughs> or a lot of oil begins to flow. This oh my God. Is flowing, so we say we want to be anointed. We say we want to flow. Amen. We say we want to go higher in God. But we got to go through the pressing. Amen. To receive the blessing. The Stop oil. running. Stop running from the press. Oh my God. Stop running. Stop, Stop. running from the press. We right there, about to crack the ceiling, praise God, but, they, but we feel a little pressure, so we try to come all the way back, back down where we used to be, where we're comfortable, where in, we're comfortable, and it don't feel so bad, but God said, listen, why you keep going down when I'm trying to bring you up? I'm oh, trying to bring oh, you up. It's just like I'm working a job, Dr. Clay, they steady trying to give me a rate, no, just let me make five dollars no, an hour. I take the five, I'm good. The five I, an hour. I don't know what I'm going to do with 15. If you give me 20, no, 25, I don't 25. know what I, that, that's 20 too much, I, I ain't used to that. Just yeah. let me stay at the five. Well, you can give me six. You can give me six. But I don't know what to do with 25. The devil is now. a lie. People going to be looking at me funny and thinking I think I'm something. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Think what you want to think. I'm giving everything I'm God has for me. I want it. Question. Everything God has for you, do you really want it? If you want it, just type on the screen. I want it. I want it. I want it. Amen. Do we really want what God is doing? Because we say, Lord, I praise you in the good and in the bad, but we just tend to back up. We just give out on God a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We just give out, literally give out on him. Wow. He's God. done so much. Everything that's in us, he put it there. He knows what's going to come upon us. He knows we can handle it. Actually, it's going to be a blessing to us because it's going to push us to another level. There are things right now. That don't bother Dr. Clay anymore. They used to bother me mm -hmm. at another level. But at this point right now, all I've been through and all I've seen, it just does not bother me anymore. Amen. Amen. This small thing. Yeah. It does not bother me anymore. But we have to get to the point where we grow. Don't get to the point of growth and back up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Go forward. Go forward yes. in him. Go forward. Stop riding your brakes. Oh my! Stop riding your brakes. That that was a good a uh, good teaching last. A night. good a good September series. First Chronicles chapter seventeen verses twenty through twenty four. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, there is none like Thee. Mm. Neither is there any God beside Thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like, thy people Israel, whom God went to redeem to be his own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness by driving out nations from before thy people, whom thou hast redeemed out of Israel. For thy people Israel didst thou make thine own people forever, and thou, Lord, becamest their God. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever and do as thou hast said. Verse 24, let it even be established that thy name may be magnified forever, saying, the Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel, and let the house of David thy mm. servant be established before thee. Wow, this is good. Y'all, this is David's praise break. He was declaring and decreeing out of his mouth that, God, I'm not going to ignore uh -huh. what you are doing in my life. God, I'm going to make the way plain mm -hmm. on what you're doing in my life. Yes, yes, yes. In the message translation, 1 Chronicles mm -hmm. 17, he said, there's none like you. God, no God but you. Mm -hmm. Nothing to compare with what we've heard with our own ears. Mm -hmm. And who is like your people? Like Israel, a nation unique on earth. Uh -huh. Whom God set out to redeem as his own people and became most famous for it. Wow. Performing great and fearsome acts. Throwing out nations and their gods left and right. As you saved your people from Egypt, you established yourself a people, your very own Israel. Wow. Your people forever. Mm -hmm. And you, God, became their God. 
So now, great God, this word that you have spoken to me and my family, mm -hmm. guarantee it forever. Do exactly what you promised. Yes, Lord. Then your reputation will be confirmed and flourish always as people exclaim, the God of the angel armies, the God over Israel yes. is Israel's God. Mm -hmm. And the house of your servant David will remain rock solid under your watchful presence. Wow. God, do what you are going to do. He said in this passage, he said, God, guarantee it forever. Mm -hmm. He said, I receive it, God. Do we receive what God is doing? Or do we just kind of hear when the, when, when the prophet comes, when the apostle comes and said, I see this for you. I see what the Lord is doing. Yes. I see what the Lord is working through your life. Yes. Push on through the pain. Push on through it. Yes. I see what God has on you. I see the greatness. But sometimes we have to step over into it. It requires a little work. Are we going to receive what God has already oh, spoken over you, over us, or are we going to push back on it? Wow. Are we going to just say, yes, Lord, I thank you mm -hmm. for what you're doing, or are we going to push back? No. Like we push back on the 25 an hour, are we going to say, no, God, uh, I'm good on that, because I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I know what to do with it. I, I, I'm going to deal with that. I, what what people going to say? Listen. Okay, <laughs> listen, dog. You right on it. When you said push back, what I saw was, this is this is my, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a visionary, y'all. I'm so, handing you. No, 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 this is the thing. <laughs> I saw at that moment, us sitting at the table. Wow. A grand dinner table. And a plate is pushed to us mm. with all these succulent oh, foods on God. it. Things we've never seen, things we we. we we can't even pronounce. We've only heard about. We, we, some of us have heard about or read about. And it's pushed before us. Will we try it? Mm. Or will we knock it? Oh, wow. Will we knock it before we try it? Or will we try it and say, okay, I, God. I don't, I don't hold up. know about that. Hold up. No, no. Let me, let me, let me help you out. God <laughs> invited us to the table. Wow. It's the Lord's table. God prepared the meal for us. Say it, sir. It's in Psalms. He prepared the table before us in the presence of our enemies. God prepared you a plate. Oh, my God. Wow. And he said, baby, son, daughter, here's your plate. Here's your plate. It's time to eat. Oh, my God. You've been hungry. You've been malnourished. You've been hurt. You've been downtrodden. It's time to eat. So we're like, okay, God, I've never seen this before. So what are we going to do? Are we going to begin to eat what God gave us, knowing he is a good God and he only gives good gifts? <laughs> yeah. Or are we going to push it away and say, you know what? I brought, I, brought, I brought a lunch sack. I brought a lunch. I got some lunch in my purse. Oh, my God. Wow. I, I, got my, I got my lunch pair. Y'all remember the lunch pair with the cartoon characters on it? Or, or I got my baggy lunch. Look, God, I understand what you got. I know, God, I know you went through all this trouble preparing this amazing meal for yeah. me, God. I, I, I know all of it. I, you got it. Look pretty in here. It smells good. The people are hospitable. Yeah. They're loving. They kind. Oh my God, they're so they so forgiving, God. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want that right now. I, 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 but I brought my. I'm gonna eat though. I brought me. A, I brought me a peanut butter and jelly Ooh. sandwich. I got an apple or some apple sauce. Come on, I got some celery and some carrots, God. Can I talk, talk man? Can I I just eat this. I know you went through all the trouble preparing it for me. I know you died on the car for me that I could have life and life more abundantly. I know you bled and died and rose on the third day, day for me. But God, can I just keep that? Can, can I just wow. eat this? I know you got steak. I know you got prime rib. I know you got crab legs. I know you got uh, sushi. I know you got it all laid out for me with all the fixings. Yes, yes. Make it plain, dog. But I, I I ain't I ain't never had any of that. Man. I ain't never had it like that. I only see that on movies. I only see that on TV. Wow. I only read about that. Prime real, what's that? Why we gotta do that? Why God, I, <laughs> listen? <laughs> God is our heavenly father who created the heaven and the earth. Ooh. God owns everything. So if Jesus, oh my God. 
the, the king of kings and the lord of lords, listen, uh, can I use this, this, this hood terminology? He's balling out of control. So, ahead, so giving you a little steak is nothing, nothing. to God. Praise God. And so if you want to give you steak and potatoes and all these other fixings, praise God, then wow. receive from, don't push it back because oh, when <laughs> we push it back, that's a sign that's saying I'm ungrateful. I'm ungrateful. That's a sign saying I don't want this. No, it's a sign that's saying I know better than you do. Possibly, I don't want this. I, 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 this. That's too much for me. He said, "Wait a minute, I'm a king. You are my child. Praise God. You are a prince. You are a princess." When the Bible said, "The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords," who are those kings that He's talking about? He's talking about us. Go to your Bibles, praise our Old Testament, and read upon it. He is the King. We are kings. Amen. Wow. In the earth, we have. The, that's why He gave us dominion. Oh my God, He created wow. us in His likeness and His image to be kings and to have dominion over everything in the earth. But if we constantly push it back to the crown, if, 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 if I don't want the crown, the other thing, only thing left is the peasant. Oh my God. Wow. If I don't want the Lord, the only thing left is the devil. If I don't want peace, the only thing left is wow. chaos. If I don't want love, the only Preach, thing left man. is hatred. Are y'all hearing what I Y'all look. Y'all look. Y'all look. This thing is real. I love it, Apostle. Man. Listen. Oh my God. Fed my kids noodles 20 years. My kids don't eat noodles. It ramen, ain't noodles. Ramen, noodles. ramen noodles. It's ramen or ramen? Ramen noodles. I mean, my, they ain't knocking nobody my kids don't eat ramen noodles because of the fact they're not good for you. And then my kids ain't gotta eat ramen noodles. Now look, I'm trying really hard to give my children the best of life. It doesn't mean that I've always been wealthy or always had it like that. But I, there is a certain standard. Uh -huh. I'm saying, God, I want everything you have for me. I'm not going to live down here, God. I'm, I want everything that's available everything, to me. Everything. Everything. And I'm training my children to, to be best. on a level to yeah. expect the best from it's, God. Oh, my God. That's deep. Expect the best from God. Yes, yes, expect yes. Expect the best. I'm not looking down here. I'm not looking down. I'm looking up. That's what the Bible said. He said, look up. Look to the hill. Get a priest. Look to the hills. I have a y'all. I didn't Ooh. even know this till we started videoing so much and being live and all. I I have a habit of holding my head up, but there is something that goes along with my personality. You're not gonna make me look down because yeah. God is up. I'm looking up. I'm not trying to uh, see who's trying to look down or who's looking crazy. I'm not busy looking at you. I'm looking at God because I don't want to miss a thing. That he's oh doing for me God. in my life. Oh my I'm God. not focused on the people. I'm doing as God tells me to do for the people. But I'm continuing to look up to God. Because I don't want to miss it. Looking up to Jesus. The God. author and finisher of our faith. So, so that means he's Ooh. the beginning and the end of our faith. The beginning and the end. He's the Preach. author. He wrote it. Yes, yes, yes. He created this thing. The finisher of my faith. So he'll be there at the beginning when I start believing in him. And he'll be there at the end when I'm gone. I got another head bust. The reason why some of our faith is wavering. some The reason why we're dealing with so much doubt and uncertainty is we're not looking unto Jesus. Wow. Who is the author and the finisher of our... We're looking unto ourselves. Come on, somebody. We're looking unto our friends, our wow. brothers, our sisters, our brothers, our neighbors. Listen, he said, don't look unto them. He said, look unto me. I yeah. am the author. I am the beginning. I am the end. He said, look unto me, the author and the finisher of your faith. And when we, oh my God, so when we pull down from heaven, amen, then we're able to help our brothers, amen. our sisters, our neighbors, even ourselves. But if we're going to look unto ourselves, guess what? The blind can't lead the blind at least they both be in, in the, the ditch. In the ditch. Y'all, I'm done. The man is over here preaching. I can't do nothing with this. Oh my Praising God. God in the good times is an essential ingredient of our praise. Go on, close this apostle. I, I can't do nothing with you, this. You're you good. Y'all, you look up. Look up. <laughs> praise him. Praise him. In the, in the best of times, it two times to praise him when we feel like it and when we don't. It doesn't matter what we think about it. What is God saying? Oh, my God. Yes. What is God saying? What is God saying? Family, what is God saying to you right now? What is God saying? It's not, listen, y'all, anointed praise and worship ministries, you all know this. Family and friends, if you've been walking with us a month, wow. if you've been walking faithfully with us a month, Tuesday night, Sunday night, praise, I mean, Tuesday night, Sunday morning on Facebook Live or 
or, or Thursday evening on Zoom or wow. uh, Friday evening on Zoom. Y'all know who we, 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 we're pointing everybody to Jesus. It's not about us. We're, we're just vessels. We're just mouthpieces. Only vessels. We're just tools in the mighty hand of God. Mm -hmm. That's it. We're pointing everybody to Jesus. But the tool can't tell the, the master that it don't want to be used on that particular uh, incident or that particular uh, job. We can't tell him, oh, no, I don't want to work on this. We got to do everything that he's using us for. Ooh, this, this, look, okay, look, look, catch this visual. God has the screwdriver in his hand. And the screwdriver can talk, y'all. The screwdriver is saying, God, why are you using me? You can, you can put that screw in the wall with the hammer. All you got to do is just keep hitting it. Oh, wow. Why, God, why are you using me for that? Why are you telling him? Look, the screwdriver asking God, why are you using me? Why are you calling me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Why are you beckoning me? Why are you carrying me to this assignment, to this task? You can use the hammer. I know it'll be messy. I know that's not the hammer's responsibility to screw in screws in the wall. Oh, God. But God, I don't want to do this. Mm. Can you just put me back in the toolbox and grab the hammer? Can you can you grab yeah. something else? Use me later. I don't feel like it right now. Oh, can you can you grab the pliers? Can you grab the monkey wrench? The, no, can you grab the vice grips, God? And you can just tighten the vice grips down where it can fit on the screw and you can screw it like that. Can you do that? God said, listen, I created you to be a screwdriver because there's things that you can do that the hammer can't do. Mm, the vice grips can't do. Preach, man. Only you can. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I got a flathead, but the flathead don't fit. Wow. But you, oh my for God. For this job, I need you. For this job, I need you. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. That's it, apostle. God said, I need you. The King of Glory, the Lord of Hosts, is begging you. He said, "I need you, Father, my brother." He said, "What was, what was that, Paul?" He said, uh, uh, "Oh my God, help me, Lord, help me, Lord." Uh, Romans twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Catch this. I beseech you. He said, "I'm pleading with you. I'm begging." I beseech you, therefore, brethren, not just the men, but the brethren, the sisters as well, to present yourself as a living sacrifice. Lord, do what you want to do with me. I'm all right with it. Thank you, God. Thank God, you won't abuse me. Thank you, God. Many of us have put our lives in the hands of other people who have misused us and abused us over and over and over again. And we keep running to them same people over and over, knowing what they're going to do. But God said, I love you. Won't you let me take, oh my God. Won't you let me use you for the kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. Won't you let me make you a benefit for the kingdom. Thank you, and when you take care of my business, I'll take care of your business. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to receive this word tonight. Thank you, God. God needs you in the kingdom. It's time out for sitting on the sidelines. Thank you, Jesus. It's time out for riding the fence. Am I in or am I out? Am I hot or am I cold? He said, listen, it's time to come all the way in. Tomorrow's not promised to no man, no woman. The next few minutes not promised to anybody. You see the news, madness everywhere, chaos everywhere. People running into people's homes, killing them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Didn't bother nobody. Breonna Taylor lost her life. This is a reality that we're in. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not trying to scare you into heaven. You sure want to go. Amen. What a mighty God. We he loved us so much that he came and died for us. When the last time somebody died for you? Thank you Jesus. Come on, somebody. Thank you, God. He said, I need you to come, 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 come. Come on, come on. Come, 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 come. I need you to create an altar, Dr. Clay. We, we're here. We're in, that, we're in that pain right there. I need you to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, I need to begin to worship God. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, God. Lord, we thank you. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we give you glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you that you're Lord of all. Yes, Lord. We praise you right now in oh, the name yes, of Lord, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We speak that no weapon that is formed against your people shall prosper. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of fear that is coming upon God's oh, people. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, no longer bound in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we are free. free we Lord. are victorious. Yes, Lord. We are free to be a work, a tool in your hand yes, Lord. for you to use. God, use us, use us as you will. God, yes, we Lord. praise you. We pray. Our souls say yes to you right yes, now. Lord. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. Whatever it is that you have for us, yes, oh Lord. God. Yes, Lord. Lord, our souls say yes to you. Yes, Lord. Yes to you, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes to you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Satan, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. You dirty, don't go down, devil. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for raising us, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for making us holy as you are holy. Yes, Lord. Yes, God, Lord. we just thank you now. Thank you, Father. God, we lay down everything at your feet. Oh, yes. Everything that's not like you. Yes, Lord. God, we turn it over to you. Yes. God, we thank you for keeping us, keeping us during God. this uncertain time. But now, God, yes, Lord. we're tired of feeling sorry for ourselves. Oh, yes. God, we're tired of feeling sorry. God, it's time for us to get up. Yes, Lord. And move and make some changes. Yes, God, Lord. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, our souls say yes. Yes, Lord. Can somebody just say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes to your will, God. Yes, Lord. Yes to your way. God, we love you. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. God, we praise you now. We praise you, God. We praise you now. We praise you, God. We praise you now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Up a little bit, Thank, Thank, you Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're also being destroyed even now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, I bless your name. Yes, Lord. Lord, I bless you. I bless you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, wherever you are. Yes, just Lord. open up your mouths. We talked about this, the fruit of our lips. Yes, Lord. We give them a harvest. Yes, we Lord. speak well of him. Everything that we know in our hearts about him. Yes, Lord. Lord, you're good. You're good. And your mercy endures forever. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I will bless your name at all times. Yes, Lord. And your praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Oh, Yes, Lord. We will go. I keep hearing full force. Yes, Lord. Full 
force. Somebody say full force. Full force. I will go forward for you full force. God, I'm not going to push back anymore. But God, I'm going to go full force yes, in what you call me to do. Yes, what you ordained me to do. Yes, Lord. God, I speak that greater is he yes. that is in me, that he that's in the world. Yes, I will not be afraid. Thank you, Lord. I will go forth in your name. In the name I will go Jesus. forward full force yes, Lord. in your name. God, what would you have me to do? Yes, Lord. What do you have for me to do? Yes, Lord. What do you have for me to do? Yes, Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Father. Creating us a clean heart. Yes. Right now. And renew the right spirit within us. Yes, Lord. Creating us. Creating us. A clean heart, oh Yes, God. Lord. And renew the right spirit. Yes. Within us, God, we praise you and we thank you. We praise you and we thank you. Yes. Come on, we praise you praise and we thank you. We praise you we praise and we thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we prepare to leave thank you, Jesus. this place, thank you, Jesus. without from God's presence. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord's presence is here. If you allow yourself, thank the Lord. Everybody that can, we want to get out of here, but if you can, if you just take this moment, just close your eyes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And just begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Don't worry about the situation, the, the problems, the circumstances. Just begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. The question was asked, when are we to praise God? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And there's two times to praise him, as we learned tonight, when we feel like it and when we don't. So some of you may not feel like giving him the glory right now, but I dare you praise him. I challenge you right now, begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Hallelujah, you can name it or you don't have to, but Lord, I thank you, hallelujah. That these are as well as they are, I thank you, Jesus, thank you. Hallelujah, I thank you for this opportunity, thank you, I thank you for your word, I thank you for your power, I thank you for your presence, I thank you for your love, come on, tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you. Hey, glory. Hallelujah, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I feel change coming up right now. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is releasing you through your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the burden being lifted off your shoulders. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I see the surgeon stitching up the wound Hallelujah. right now. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You've been hurt. Hallelujah. You've been wounded for so long. Deep wounds that you've been trying to cover up with band-aids. But God said the band-aids are coming off and he's stitching you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold this in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if I'm talking to you, say, I receive it right now. I receive the healing right now in the name of Jesus. I receive the wholeness right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. He said it may not just be physical, yes. It could be healing in our minds, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. We thank you. We thank you for healing in our minds tonight. Lord, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Apostle Clay, why are you telling us to say, Lord, I thank you? Because we're praising him in advance. Yes, we're praising him in advance. Yes, Lord. We're praising him in advance. Yes, Lord. That all is well with our souls. Yes, All is well with our minds. Yes, Lord. All is well in our marriages. Yes, Lord. All is well in our relationships. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said you will not go home. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Expect the miracle. Food is on the way. Yes, yes, sir. You know, your last meal, but God said that food is on the way. Yes, Lord. He provides all of our needs. Yes, Lord. According to our, his, oh my God. He provides all of our needs according to his several abilities. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Family, we got to get out of here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Can somebody shout all is well? All is well. Listen, God, I ask that you touch my brother, touch my sister. In the name of Jesus. They may be hurting, God, and they don't want anybody to know what they're dealing with. But, God, you are a miracle working God. And so what I'm saying is you may be fine. You may not need anything. But I just need you to begin to pray, God, touch my brother. God, touch my sister. Make a way out of no way for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you're able. Lord, you're willing, God. You're able, God. Yes, Lord, you're willing, God. Yes, Lord. And we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We enjoy your presence, God. Yes, Lord. We bask in your presence, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your people, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wherever they are, God. Yes, Lord. Bless your people, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your people, God. Bless them. Wherever they are, God. Bless, the Bless your people, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless them. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch your people. Touch, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, God. Right now, God. Go in where hey. they are, God. Yes, Lord. Go now, God. Send your spirit, Lord. Yes, Lord. Send your presence, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, yes, Lord. fall fresh on your people now. Fresh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A fresh touch. A fresh anointing. Yes, Lord. Yes, fresh Lord. power. Yes, Lord. The authority of the Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lead us, God. Lead us. What God. would you have us to do? Yes, Lord. Lead us, God. 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 We worship you, Jesus. Right now, right now, we love you, God. Love you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For all you've done tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for every seed that has been planted in your people. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your tender mercies. Father, we pray right now that as we could, as we end this broadcast, that your presence will yet remain. Yet remain, God. With every viewer on tonight. Oh, Father. That you will continue to minister to their hearts and minds. In their situation, whatever it may be. Because you're all powerful. You have all power in your hand. We thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen.